Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about cleaning up your database in the form of removing expired transients. Now, expired transients are pieces of code that plugins or some themes will put into the WP options table. And normally those transients are just like the term uh, refers to them as they're transient, meaning they're temporary. They have an expiry date associated with them. So they're automatically deleted at a certain point. But if the plugin or theme developer didn't code that properly, expired transients can build up in your database, causing serious problems in the form of a database that's way too big. And there's a, a simple plugin that was created that will go in and delete these expired transients. And I'm gonna show you right now how that works. So I'm in my cPanel, I'm just gonna pull up my actual database so you can see how big the WP options table is before and after we run the plugin. So if you wanna do the same thing, you can log into your cPanel and click on PHP My Admin. So you're gonna end up in a screen that looks something like this. And on the left-hand side, you're gonna have the list of databases. And I just have one right now, which is just my website's database. And if you click on the little plus symbol, it will load all the tables in the database. So you can have a look at all of those. But I just wanna click on the main database name so that it loads in the right-hand panel. And then I'm gonna find the WP Options table and on the right hand side, we see the size of that table, which right now is 384 kilobytes. And I, I cleaned the expired transients about three weeks ago. And there is a plugin on my site that I need, but it's not coded properly. I don't know which plugin it is. I haven't actually gone in to investigate, but I know I need all of them. So it's got to be one of the ones I need. And for some reason, the developer hasn't coded it properly so the transients build up. One day when I have some time, I'll find out which plugin it is specifically. But until then, I just run the expired transient plugin about once a month. So this 384 kilobytes after we run the plugin should be reduced. And so if we go into our website's dashboard, which is this site right here, for me, you'll go into your own site for you. We go to plugins and click on add new and type in expired transients. And the one that I use is this first one. It's called delete expired transients. Pretty straightforward. Click on install now. There's a lot of other ones on this page that do the same thing. So which one you use is, is up to you. I just use this one right here with the snowflake. I happen to like snow. That's why I use it. And I click on activate after it's installed. We'll bump back to the plugin page and that plugin is now installed. And it's gonna add a menu item to the tools menu on the left hand side called delete transients. So we're gonna click on there. And then here it has some information about our transients. So currently there are 27 transients but none of them are expired. So if, if I did have expired transients, I could choose this option, click on delete. Uh, but none of them are expired. We do have the option to delete all transients and transients again are just temporary things that a plugin will refer back to and need. And if they're not expired, that means either it's not coded properly or the transients are still needed by that plugin. So if you see the total transient number keep going up and up and up and up and the expired transients don't go up because eventually they have to expire because that's the nature of what they are. And if that happens to you, then you may have a situation where a plugin is creating transients that aren't being expired properly. So in my case, I know that these transients are not needed because I, I do this maintenance every few weeks. So I'm just gonna choose all transients. And here it says use with caution because these may still be needed by a plugin that you have. So unless you know exactly what's going on with your plugins, I don't recommend you use the all transients delete option. Use expired if those aren't being deleted properly. But I'm gonna use all transients and delete all of them by clicking on delete. And now they're all gone. So usually I do this once a month because they, they build up pretty quickly. But if we go back to our database and look at the WP options table, earlier it was 384 kilobytes. If I refresh this page, that number should now be lower because this is where the transients are stored in the WP options. And there we have it. It's now down to 240 kilobytes. So it was reduced by about a third 
a third of the size of that table. And a funny story, the reason I actually discovered these transients and the, the problems they can cause is my host suspended my website. I was gone for a week, they're emailing me, they didn't just do it randomly, they, they emailed me and I didn't get the emails. And the problem was so many transients had built up, it was just crushing the server resources, loading the MySQL database because it was so big. They said there's a plugin causing this and you got to use this plugin over here to delete these transients or delete the plugin that's causing the problem. And like I said, I don't know which one it is, I'll find out at some point. But this is something that may affect your site and it also may not. So a good strategy would be to check the size of WP options table today and make a note of it somewhere and then come back in a month and check it again. And if it's only increased by a little bit, you don't really have a problem. But if the size is doubled or tripled or quadrupled or any multiple of that, you might have an issue that is caused by transients. And so what you could do at that point, you just back up your database and you go ahead and install that plugin, delete transients, and see if that breaks anything. If nothing's broken, then you likely have a transient storage problem. They're not being expired properly. So that's how we delete transients from the WP options table. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tech tutorials just like this every single day. Talk to you soon.